main issue is that it depends on how we treat the notion of diversity or how we treat the organic existing living reality of diversity in plural societies. Unity and diversity here in Pakistan um, is a really exciting issue. Um, you really feel and see how incredibly diverse this country is from the northern areas down to Sin. You wouldn't even believe it's one country uh, when you see the difference in cultures and languages in how people look and all of this. This diversity, uh, this multiple facet that you have in life here in Pakistan can actually also be um, a conflict resolution mechanism, it can be a healing mechanism as well. In a society where the identities are shared and where we find variety of cultures, then instead of professing upon the assimilation of those cultures and developing pseudo-homogeneity, I think time has come to, to start rethinking about how to respect, how to secure, how to maintain those distinct identities that we see in Pakistan, in all the provinces at all levels. Uh, it's not the, the diversity alone that creates unity. It is the respect and the acceptance and, uh, this, and the celebration of diversity which ensures unity. When we talk of diversity, we have to accept and celebrate the religious diversity as well the lingual diversity as well. So it's not just cultural diversity uh, that has to be accepted and celebrated. If you can look at the figures that they're totally opposite to each other, a square yes, and a circle. So how do you proceed with that? They don't fit in, right? They don't work at all together. So you Absolutely. need to create, all they need to do is to create a space within themselves to accommodate each other. This is a problem that uh, I think we are facing uh, everywhere. So the last, I think, 10, 15 years of the violence that we have faced uh, is actually uh, shows that um, how much damage has been done and how much effort we really need to make, not only at the state level, but at the societal level as well. That's your planet and it's wearing a mask. Oh, and that yeah. mask consists of all sort of diverse kind of things that you need right now. Against this pandemic, against these troubles, this is what, how the government together with civil society and communities can actually use it, use this diversity to construct peace for multiculturalism. And this is one of the very basic needs. Of course, we need culture always, but why in crisis time more? Because we are living in a world in which clearly military and economic power is not everything anymore. We desperately need culture. This is the solution. Cultural diversity is the source of variety. And I would say coming very close to nature and coming very close to appreciation and respect. Diversity in our culture is enriching. Enriching and the more we come close to enjoying those touristic places and the cultural tourism, the more we will be uh, resolving conflict. We need to look at things differently. Perhaps we need to take a look at the education policies that um, have been very detrimental in, you know, deciding what sort of policies should be there and what sh sort of education policies should be there that can, you know, mainstream all children. We need to form friendships you know, and we need to have good enough books, you know, we need to make children understand from the books and not just read the textbooks, but to read from other diverse literature as well.